Did you ever wonder how instant coffee is made? Let's make sense of it with science. Instant coffee certainly doesn't happen in an instant. First, the coffee beans have to be picked, roasted, and blended, then shipped to a factory, like the one we're in now. Now the first step in making instant coffee is to make coffee the good old-fashioned percolated way. And to make it really strong. That would definitely wake you up. But it's still not strong enough. So this coffee is poured into those tubes over there. Let's go with it. Ooh, sort of like a water slide, huh? Except instead of water, we're surrounded by coffee. And as you can feel, the pressure is steadily increasing. And the temperature is rising. This makes some of the water in the coffee evaporate, creating a thick, syrupy coffee concentrate. Okay, see that huge, boxy-looking dryer over there? The one that's nearly 100 feet high and 60 feet wide? Well, we and this concentrate are about to take the instant coffee plunge right into it. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Inside this dryer, things are really heating up. After all, it's 500 degrees centigrade in here. So, when our concentrated coffee reaches the bottom, all of its water will have evaporated, leaving powdered instant coffee. Hope today's show perks up your day. Now you know it all makes sense with science. This has been presented by Bayer Corporation's National Education Program, Making Science Make Sense.